Hi there. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be talking about iOS 16. Apple was immersed in its keynote. They have presented the first version of iOS 16 and watchOS 9 software oriented mainly to developers. Despite being the first version, it is the first approach to the new operating system that will give life to the iPhone this 2022. We tell you all the news and features of iOS 16. The lock screen is the first big change in iOS 16. After years without relevant changes, Apple has given the biggest change in history, as they indicate. For the first time, we can customize the lock screen in iOS, in a way that reminds us of the themes of some customization layers in Android. We can change the font and color, and even add widgets to the lock screen. According to Apple, the design is based on Apple Watch complications, by modular customization and editing style. Widgets, such as the weather widget, can preserve animations within the lock screen and will be open to third parties so we can add widgets beyond the official ones. The modifications we create can be saved, to create our gallery of themes for the lock screen. Notifications in iOS have been a mess, for some time now. With iOS 16 Apple wants to bring more orders, with an API that it has called Live Activities. This allows notifications to come to life, to be animated. They give us an example of waiting for an Uber ride, we will be able to see how much time the driver has left from the app's notification, among other uses. The concentration mode is now applied to the apps and web pages themselves, being more customizable. A massage also receives a good dose of new features. First of all, we can now edit messages that we have already sent, with the corresponding notice in the conversation that the message has been modified. We can also cancel messages sent in the chat. We also have the possibility of using Sherry Play in a massage, to view content simultaneously with our contacts. Apple also talks about important improvements in dictation within the apps, as always, with privacy as the focus. It can add points automatically if it detects that the text is long, as well as recognize words of emojis, to introduce them in the text. Lift text is the closest thing to Google Lens in the Apple ecosystem. From now on, it also works in video, so we can play any video, press the live text icon, and select parts of text in it. Live text will gain prominence with a custom interface, ceasing to be a secondary function within the camera. Related to this, iOS 16 debuts features related to artificial intelligence, such as copying an image, isolating the background of the image, and pasting it into another app with the background removed. All immediately. Apple Maps is also renewed. From now on, we will have routes with multiple stops, with a maximum of 15. Similarly, integration with Wallet is improved, so that we can synchronize it with the app iOS 16 debuts a new feature called Safety Check. It is a new settings menu that allows us to stop sharing our location, reset privacy permissions, and protect access to our messages. This selection of functions to restrict is aimed at both apps and people, to create a safer space within our iPhone. CarePlay now communicates better than ever with the vehicle, adapting to any type of screen. It wants to serve now as a giant interface, so that we can have a digital instrument panel, customizable and integrated with the vehicle. We will be able to see the fuel level, odometer, car kilometers, temperature, gear engaged, etc. All the dashboard information, with the configurable Apple interface. It will arrive next year, as a completely revamped new generation. Apple Pay Later is one of the big new features of iOS 16. It is a service to pay in installments, without commissions, and through Apple Wallet. This financing system emphasizes that it is interest-free although, for the moment, it is a feature that we will see only in the United States. Apple loads the iPhone 7 on the list of compatible iPhones, as well as the first-generation iPhone SE. All models from this will receive the update. We are facing a first beta phase for developers so it is not yet available for the rest of the users. If you want to take a chance on your own, you can always download the profile manually. iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, 
iPhone X, iPhone XS, iPhone XS Max, iPhone XR, iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, iPhone 11 Pro Max, iPhone 12, iPhone 12 Mini, iPhone 12 Pro, iPhone 12 Pro Max, iPhone 13, iPhone 13 Mini, iPhone 13 Pro, iPhone 13 Pro Max, iPhone SE 2nd General, and iPhone SE 3rd General. Here ends our video on iOS 16, we hope you find it very useful. If you have any suggestion kindly share with us in the comments section. Also, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Please click on the notification bell in front of the subscribe button to turn on notification for this channel, so as to notify you when I post new video. Thank you for watching.